Okay, take two. We are going to do the unboxing of the Black Moon Astrology cards today. And I had to start this video over as I got interrupted. So I already have them out of the box. I usually wait with excitement to reveal them to myself with my listeners. So if you like this kind of content, astrology, cards, inspiration, please check into the other content on my channel. And if it resonates with you, give me a like and a subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when I put up new content. So it's a good size deck. And there were two things that kept me from ordering this deck, even though my soul kept telling me to get it. And one of the things is the cards have a white border around them that I'm not a big fan of. So I may or may not trim them. It's a 184 page book. The Blue Angel Publishing is the maker. And I always like to try to support the small businesses. So I got this deck on Etsy. And so that is the box. It's a bigger size deck too, bigger than most of my Oracle. Black Moon Astrology cards featuring 52 cards and a guidebook. Drawing on the ancient discipline of Interpreting the night sky, the black moon astrology cards give you access to the tangible wisdom contained in the heavens. The movements of the planets, the luminaries, the stars are reflected in the happenings on earth and influence our lives, our bodies, and our destinies. As science and art, astrology reveals the insight and the knowledge that is literally written in the stars. The 52 card cards are based upon the most important placements of the horoscope, making this an in-depth deck for divination and self-awareness. This 184-page guidebook includes information on a range of astrological influences, including the planets, eclipses, and lunar nodes. You don't need to be an astrologer to read these cards. I think it actually would be a wonderful deck if you're wanting to learn astrology, but I think it would also be able to be utilized for advanced astrologers. I really do. So let's get right into it. If you hear my pets in the background, I am a no edit channel. So just enjoy their liveliness like me. Beautiful purple. And of course it has the astrological wheel around it. like planet of Venus in the center. So I love the purple. So this is first, the for, first thing that was going to keep me from getting the deck, like I said, is the, the white border. I'm not sure if I'll trim them, but sun spirit, the moon, our soul, I like it with the greens, you know, heart chakra. Mercury, the mind. Venus, love. Mars, force. Saturn, truth. They're like a cross between a matte and a glossy, so they're really nice, nicely made. Um, texture on them. They show up good on the camera, I see. Jupiter, abundance. Chiron, healing. Like I said, the imagery and, you know, being an astrology deck, just my soul. I had them in my, like, shopping cart forever, so. Uranus, genius. Neptune, Sacrifice. Pluto. Transformation. They're also numbered, as you see. So if you like numerology, it's another way you can utilize the deck. Black Moon Lilith. Mystery. Aries. I am. Taurus, I have. Gemini, I think. 
cancer, I feel. Leo, I will. I love this. I like the lions anyway. Virgo, I analyze. Libra, I balance. Justice, relationships, our biggest lessons we can learn in life. Scorpio, I transform. I'll probably have somebody trim them. <clears throat> Sagittarius, I see. Capricorn, this was the second reason that I did not, I hesitated on this deck. And this is a, just a perfect way for me to heal something that's not healed in my life because I'm triggered by what they used the word here, Capricorn, I use. To me, it should be utilized because it's an earth sign. Capricorns utilize the, the things of the earth to, you know, climb the mountain and I was raised by somebody that used to use this term I use when it came to people. And so I really just is triggered by that. So I have a wonderful opportunity with that trigger to heal that within myself. So that was the second thing that kept me hesitant. But when your soul keeps drawing you to the same thing over and over, pay attention. There's a reason, right? Aquarius, I know. The imagery... And the astrology is, it trumps the, the things that I just have to heal, right? Pisces, I believe, because I love the colors they used. And the simple, simplicity to me is always great too. Like these little cards that have, oracle decks that have one or two words, you know, can really draw intuitively. First house, the body. Second house, owning. Of course, it has monetary there, but it's more values, what we value. Third house, messages. It's the house of Gemini. Fourth house, roots. The home of Cancer. Fifth house, creativity, Leo. I like the mask there. That's cool. Sixth house, routine. The house of Virgo. Flower of life. Seventh house, house of Libra. Partners. Eighth house, endings and beginnings. The home of Scorpio. Transformation. Death and rebirth. Ninth house, faith, the house of Sagittarius. Not a fan of the Ouija board neither, but that's just me. Tenth house, the world. I think that you can integrate this deck with other decks, especially if you have a little bit of an understanding and knowingness of astrology. So I think it's going to work good with other other decks, even Tarot, you know. 11th house, Friends, the house of Aquarius. 12th house, Escape, Pisces. 5th element, that's another thing I liked about this too. It includes the elements, includes the nodes. Fire element, Desire. Plus, it has the symbol of fire with the triangle going up. It's cool. Earth element, stability. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Air element, communicating. It's a beautiful card. I like the sky. Water element, Sensing the North Node, life's purpose. This is one of the things to learn in astrology. The North and South Node are so significant and a great starter point to get people on their journey and their destiny. 
and their true passions in life. South node, life's debts. So the things that we leave behind, the th things we learn from, this is even past lives, you know, that we've incarnated again with lessons to learn, overcoming them. Oops, I started flipping them the wrong way. Look what I did. It's okay because I'm going to give them a shuffle and we'll pull us a card before we end this video. Lunar Eclipse Change. Solar Eclipse Revolution. Part of fortune increase. I had to study this in the chart because I'm like, what is this symbol? Grand Trine Blessings. So this is a harmonious aspect, obviously. The Grand Cross Provoker, which is Provoker of Change and Evolution of Our Soul. I believe we have one today, which is January 4th, if I'm not mistaken. The Yad Destiny. Love it with the Merkaba. I have a couple of Yads in my birth natal chart. Jupiter Return. Benefits. Expansion. Saturn Return. Age. It's usually when people go through the dark night of the soul, they don't realize they're in a transformational time when they have their Saturn return. It can cause depression and whatnot if you're not aware of the beautiful spirit within yourself, that you're just in a metamorphosis transformation. So they're pretty big. Mercury retrograde reinvention. I believe we have one coming up and it may, is it in, I think it's going to be Mercury retrograde in Aquarius. If I'm not mistaken. Void of course moon missing. So let's draw ourselves a message. By the way, if you have tarot cloths or card cloths, just a suggestion if you're new starting out that sometimes they make them way too small and too light that they're more of a pain in the ass than what they're worth. And I'm just sharing that with you guys because this was my first one. And although it's very beautiful, it's so lightweight and it's actually too small. So it becomes a nuisance when you're shuffling your decks. I always bless my de decks with the divine. I bless my decks with the light. And I ask the Holy Spirit to always be present. And so it is. So let's see how they shuffle. It's definitely a nice cardstock, too. What is the message, Spirit, for all of us to just be inspired by today as we are tuned in for this unboxing? They may be one of those decks because I have such small hands that I do, you know up and down. It's always unique to whichever deck you have and however is comfortable, just go with the feel of it. Never a wrong way, never a, you know. I like my Chakra Oracle one too because it's a really small, it's like the size of a, a tarot deck and they're fun to shuffle. I will put in the description box the exact name of this deck and the maker. And again, um, try to support small businesses like Etsy. I know you can find things cheaper on Amazon, but the big businesses are just blooming and we really need to have support for our small businesses. So. See, I, I actually can shuffle in both ways, so that's nice. What me which message are we going to share today? Did I only get one? Seventh house partners. So this is the house of Libra. Again, in our lives, this is the most biggest 
learning tools is the relationships that we're in. This can be family. This can be significant others. This can be the relationships with ourselves. This can be the relationship with our children. This can be our relationship with our coworkers. Most of the time we can find that we do learn the most from our relationships, our partnerships. And then it's always up to us to do our work and um, keep the ones we have or we move on and evolve. Let's read it. I won't um, read probably a whole lot from these. I do love to, I don't ever let anybody tell you not to use the guidebooks because there are so many good things that are in the guidebooks. Again, always to build your intuition once you get intimate with the de whatever particular deck that you're using, um, you can always build on that as well. But sometimes it's nice. I do both. Sometimes I just go by with whatever's coming through to me. Other times I'll pull out the book. No, no joke. You know, if you're guided to, do it. Don't let people shame you in that. Because there's so many beautiful things that even ab above and beyond the intuition that we can get pull through with the cards again this would be a great deck too if you're interested and drawn to astrology to go you know what I'm gonna get that and uh learn a little bit it's how we learn I'm always learning I love it bindings whether emotional or domestic or lawful and what is right or permissible are indicated now the seventh house is the area of the chart that represents the other, since it is opposed the first house of self. Traditionally, it has been thought to be the house of marriage and marriage partners, and although this may still be in the primary meeting, meaning the other can also include friends, family, peer groups. So it can be significant others such as co-workers. Since it's the traditional house of Libra, it governs fairness, balance, and the law. It is also the house of open enemies. When the seventh house card presents itself in a reading, it usually means one of two things, either issues dealing with partners or significant others, or court cases or legal issues. The card itself is neutral, but like the actual seventh house, which strives for balance, so the surrounding cards will indicate the basic meaning, whether positive or negative, and something in between. The Pisces or Neptune cards nearby, oh, see, they're going, she goes into, if you're doing like three card draws and stuff, of what's next to her. So I'll save that for you guys to um, learn if you choose to pick up this deck. So we are in the beginning of January 2021. We've all been through hellstorm in 2020 but we had a lot of lessons with you know who we are who we value what we value um our place in the world our relationships and they really truly can be the well they are the biggest things that we can learn from never stay where you have to play small and once you get into the universal frequency of balance and harmony and healing, you will have partners that are gifting and soul tribe. And I think that's what we all need going into 2021. Strong roots, trustworthy friends, wonderful relationships, wonderful community. So hope you enjoyed this deck. Let me know in the comments your likes, dislikes about the deck, and again, I will put in the description box the specific name of this deck. Thanks for being here with me.